Hello, Gareth here, and this is um, a new watercolour painting of a misty scene. And I wanted to capture a beautiful golden light on a early misty morning, and um, I think I think I achieved that here. And um, the title for this painting is light the first dawning so what do you think please leave a comment so another idea for a title was praise every morning so when i look at this painting um, i'm reminded of that song morning has broken so that has influenced a lot of my title ideas however i'd appreciate your suggestions um, as you might know, recently I've been obsessed with a village called Edensor in Derbyshire, England. This is a, a very, very beautiful village with a, a fantastic church, which you can see here. I've done over 20 paintings now of this village. Um, I've done a soft, colourful painting and then... I've done a stark dramatic one and I've also done some uh, evening images so um, now I'm working on doing a misty or doing misty scenes and this is a first time for me so it's been a bit of a challenge um, so I did I did a bit of research I looked at some watercolor paintings of misty scenes and I looked at some images photos of misty scenes and from that i got a good idea of what to do so but the final result was was more than i expected for instance that misty grass that happened by accident i didn't intend it to be kind of streaky but when i did that by accident i realized that that's really magical it's wonderful so so I kept that and um, also I learnt with the buildings and the trees not to add red red just doesn't work well in misty scenes in in my experience and to try and keep it as blue as possible but in the foreground tree I did add some green I'm not I'm not sure what I think about that what do you think about that <laughs> let me know and um, please stay tuned because soon I'm going to be painting this village again yeah again I'm really obsessed with this village at the moment and I'm going to be doing a snow scene so I need to do a bit more research well I need to start doing some research on painting a snow scene and get some ideas from looking at watercolor paintings and photos and then from that get some ideas and then develop my own thing so stay tuned that will be coming soon and hopefully those snow scenes will be turned into christmas cards um hopefully let's hope so so that's all for now see you soon bye